What you got here? It's very tall. Congratulations. I got him when I was 15 and he was three. So oh, this is my first wow. <laughs> you two, you go way back. Okay. Um, he can be a little bit tense, especially in like the Piaf massage work. Okay. Um, it's taken a really, really long time to get the Piaf um, just relaxed. And mm -hmm. not get them too hot. Um, I actually had to stop showing in the double um, because it was just it was too much. Yeah. Um, and I think part of it too was my fault because I was trying to get, to get my gold medal, which he did. He gave it to me, but oh, then I had okay. to take it back. Took a couple years off showing, and it's been the best thing. Yep. Us, yep. My training and my riding. Um, I am a trainer. Okay. Um, so I just want to learn as much as I can as far as like, you know, really being experienced and teaching a Grand Prix horse. Well, I'll tell you the biggest lesson you just learned was what you just told me mm -hmm. and you backed off. Yep. And that was the smartest thing you could have done because mm -hmm. we chase a calendar, we chase yep. goals without these guys in mind. Mm -hmm. And um, the only ones with calendars are them. And it's one thing, you know, they teach you quickly right. if you listen because things start to shut down or they break, yep. okay? Or they just plain old break. Yep. And uh, if you're having a meltdown, mm -hmm. you didn't quite get to the point where he broke, thank right. goodness, but it is reevaluating your work. Right. And you did. Yes. So that's huge. Congratulations. So um, just looking at the neck, that's gonna be difficulty, you know, working with that. I see that's your, you know, I can see by the construction of it. Um, how old is he, did you say? 17. 17 now, okay. And what, besides the pee off, how is the rest of the work? Are you connected? Are you disconnected? Um, the connection could improve, especially, like I said, in the double. Yeah. Things can get a little bit fussy. Um, Are you I riding? Spent, like almost a year. I spent a year in the Snapple. I have no problem with the Snapple. Yeah. No problem showing in, in the Snapple. Yeah. I like I like it better. Sure. But I don't know. Some of my trainers, trainer friends, are like, don't. When is he gonna grow up and go in the double? So yeah. Like, oh, no. Well, you know, you're padded, which is good. Mm -hmm. Okay. He needs that, and you can work within this. Let's see what you've got there. Oh, that's pretty basic. I try to keep it as basic and soft. Yeah, you have to. That's exactly right. Okay. And for me, I'm going to show you how to work with the neck. We're going to limber the neck so we can connect. Right. He Get his back more than you back. have, you know? And this is part of, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, I would say my biggest challenge, like in the test, um, the thing, the movement I hate the most is the draw half back. Yeah. Because this big long horse trying to make it to the letter and his trot, I feel like he's got like a hundred percent trot. Yeah, because you're not connected, connected, co consistently connected. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the word, okay? And that neck makes that hard. So we're gonna work on lateral longitudinal okay. with him. We're gonna just supple. You know, it's not about the movements. We get that, we get the rest. Yeah. And I don't care, like, I mean, there's no movement that I need to be running through. He can well, stay on. The thing is, it's the, exactly, no, pardon my grab here. I just want to make sure. Okay, you're good. Yeah, because that's a. He's got a huge drop. I get that, I see that. <laughs> I just don't want to be on it. Right. Because right. that also oh, and it's will block huge. us yes. in a lot of ways. Okay, so we're going to work on the bend you're gonna be basically transitioning. He's gonna stay in shoulder four. Shoulder four is the straight, okay? Outside hind leg, outside fore leg, one track. But you're gonna supple him, and I want you not to think of the mouth when you do this. 
okay? When I'm sitting up on a horse and I'm on a circle, this is how my hands look. If I took a tape measure and let's say I want, and I always like to think of flexion from the wither to the pole. I still remember that article in Okay, there you go, because <laughs> You want a harmonious bend. And what happens is we'll ride backward with an outside rein, jam them in, and then ask for flexion and think it's, you know, this is, I'm gonna fix it. And then you look and see an ache, a deformity right in the middle, okay? And then they're gonna hold here and not come over their back. And then you get the tilt, okay? So with that in mind, this is, I'll take that outside. It goes, you know, it, I know, buddy, you're ahead of the game, aren't you? <laughs> so this, and then he will give eventually. See that? Yeah. And I didn't touch his mouth. I manipulated neck. And so all your rein does is go against, against the neck mm -hmm. while this one closes. Against the neck, this one closes. Against it. And meanwhile, these guys, inside leg, are just doing this, bump, yep. bump, 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 so that the middle hand breathes, and when he loosens, he comes up into you and bends, okay? okay. He's not this right, way. Right. You're never gonna make your half pass that way, mm -hmm. okay, Chica? Okay. So, there we go, let's just do it, you know, prove it. Oh my goodness, a lot of ponies. A lot of ponies, so I want you to relax, and I want here, okay? You gotta, you gotta be exactly on your best A game there. Carry here, your stomach, your back. And what I do for arms, okay? You've gotta turn your thumbs out, and these arms will engage, so we're not flat hands and bouncing, no trotting hands. And now just walking, your inside leg is at the girth, asking for bend. The outside, and imagine again this one. I don't know if you ever saw that one. Skateboard, mm -hmm. inside, propel, outside. That came through dressage today also. Neck rein. So that outside rein just goes against the neck. Without, yes, and now relax both fists. Correct. And all the while, the inside leg is a little bump. Outside leg says, track up. So he's basically, you set these little compressions at the time you bring the shoulder and so he does this, okay? And he's walking, he stays in shoulder for this. So I don't necessarily see a transition here. All, I, all you did is compress the top line briefly. And the overflexed, too much flexion, just enough to see the inside eye. So there you're overriding your inside ring. And I want the hand to stay at the wither. So guide your, guide his shoulder in, outside leg is driving, small relax, yes. Bending, good, outside leg though, here from the hip flexor, this is your outside leg. Look it, it's just a, that's not this, okay? From your hip flexor. So if you notice, he kind of, he's not bending, his hind end is leaving the circle, then open, bring it back, lay it on. Yeah, and now your shoulder toward me. Now you did that, and then you turn back. I need you, your outside shoulder, his inside shoulder. And that, just that turning and rotating of your upper body should help you, do you feel your inside seat bone more than your outside? That's the goal. Two times more weight over your inside stirrup iron. Now lift off left, little bump with your left leg from the hip flexor, flat cap. That's it, yeah, and that was so soft, I like that. Was, you didn't need more than that. And then I'll use those as visual aids, lift off again. And then your outside leg says forward, so he tracks up. Straighten over the right, lift off left. Good, correct. Lift off, and your neck reining still. And then anytime you close your outside fist to direct his outside shoulder in, your inside ring finger just closes. It's supporting the shoulder from falling in. Yes, 
Okay, good. Now relax both. That was nice. You want to stay connected. Lift off left. Your left thigh. Lift it off. Guide your shoulder in. Lift off left if you feel, yes, exactly. Just show it to him. Straighten him from the wither to the pull. Just a little bit. Straighten his neck. Yes, he's just closing your outside fist and relaxing your inside. And then guide the shoulder in. If you feel you're losing the shoulder, then I just straighten him from the wither. Get the shoulder back and shoulder forward and then guide it over with a relatively straight neck. Or with a subtle counter flex. Lift off left. Don't hold him with that. Bump him. Don't hold him with your spur. Okay. You're going to change the rein. Carry your shoulders. Carry your chest. Just pull your chest up. Your outside shoulder toward his inside. Now your inside leg has to come forward. Bring your right leg to the girth. That's where the bend is. Correct. Correct. Good boy. And guide. Yes, lift off right. Little press. Little press at the girth, flat foot. No spur. And your outside shoulder, again, you turn. And now do you feel your right seat bone? Mm -hmm. Okay. And that also, that puts your hand. See, your hand should be like this, not back here. Give him length of neck on the outside, and then you lay the rein against his neck and guide his shoulder. Yes, correct. That's how you would get that half path, by the way. Okay? Otherwise, you're not going sideways, and you are taking the bend out of it by taking his neck away from him on the outside. Good. So, inside leg at the girth, you're going to get ready to go to trot. And you've been warmed up, so you can go to sitting. You're ready? All right, shorten your Burdoon rein. Correct, good. And then sitting trot. So relax. The resistance you felt just then, that's when I open my thighs and I straighten them out, get them, yes. And now, little soft press outside leg and he should move right up. Not holding, there, good. You want to make sure anytime you do, he receives an easy leg a light aid. You're not kicking them into trot or canter. Guide the shoulder. Yeah. And relax. Good inside leg. Guide the shoulder. Bending. Outside leg. Asks him to track up to every single little neck rein you do. Not backward your left hand. And you feel if he's, if he's falling in, then I do an opening outside. Okay, so that, that left rein, I just go the width of his shoulder. Go wide, forward. Yes, inside hand stays by the wither. There, correct. And now he's back, right? Not leaning. And drive him up. And you drive him to a shorter stride. Think about that. And that's, don't pull. You do all the same things. You want him to stay in shoulder four. And what I don't want him to do is go rigor mortis of the top line like he just did, right? That should stay fluid trotting. Guide the shoulder in. Bend off your inside leg, taking weight. Yes. So drive him to a shorter stride. That just means the neck rein intensifies the, sque the squeeze. Not a backward hand. Yes. And drive him out. Back to working trot, good boy. And if ever you, you know, you can work with these reins, it just can't, a wide, usually you'll, you'll be able to take the shoulder back out by the width of the, sh by the time your hand gets to the width of his shoulder. Yep, correct. And your driving leg supports that, good boy. Good, inside leg at the girth. And press him into your outside rein and drive him again to a shorter stride. And all this messing around up there, that's gotta stop. And that's what we are going to get rid of through this form of suppling, okay? We're not gonna wag his head. We're gonna make him stay steady on the hand regardless of how heavy or light it gets. We're gonna consistently try to keep it quiet, our hands. 
And that's where I say, Mercedes, take it like a man. If it feels like a thousand pounds, just deal with it and keep aiding. Good, correct, relax your fingers. Good boy. Okay, now again, drive him to a shorter stride. In, shoulder, four. So there's a neck grain in, the inside hand closes, and you drive him back out, just lower the hand. You feel that? Just quiet, just close the hand, just be quiet. Don't pull left or right, don't try to counter anything. Just lower the hand and drive. That's what I call the old double D. Drop the hands and drive, that's it. And now we've get him back in the hand, right? He was just coming off your seat. Now you get him back in the hand and you go back to what we were doing. Transition within the, up, oh, straighten him, too much right rein. And drive, outside leg on, bend. And this is one of those, you're gonna count to a thousand. You do not get frustrated and jerk anywhere. You just try to stay evenly connected on those reins. Good boy, that's nice, that's nice, stay quiet. Your fingers are doing the negotiating, but your upper body, nothing moves. Outside leg on. Yeah, quiet the hand, just lower the hand and drive right there because his tongue is up. That's the problem. Need to push him back into your hand. Don't pull back to find him. Push him into your hand, drive him. Drive him, there. Okay, good, don't change the hand. Good job, there he is again, right? And the tongue is back where it needs to be. Direct the shoulder again. Hands quiet, leg on, outside leg, and your inside leg needs to be more at the girth. Neck rein, your outside shoulder, bending. Lift your right leg off, do one of these. Skim a visual. Not so much of a huge thump as, yes, exactly. Okay, and when you feel him start to tense up and he's dropping his back, check your thighs. Hands down, good job, way to correct that. Don't over, yeah, lift your thigh and bump. Outside, yes, there you go. Pat him inside, small, good boy. And that's where I just use my forefinger and scratch the wither. And you're gonna change the direction, good job. So your position, stay steady with the hand, nicely focused. Like your concentration, inside leg at the girth, chest up, outside shoulder toward his inside. That's a lot of information right there. And you just have to keep focusing on your position while we're working and he will unravel in that. He'll, he'll settle in this. Good, correct. Guide the, yep. Yeah. Now this direction, I'd have him a little straighter over that outside rein from the wither to the pull. Correct. Inside leg is at the girth. Yep. Steady the left hand, not pulling. Don't use your left rein to balance you. Now you've got to get him in front of your seat. The tongue is up. Just sit quiet and drive. Drive him into your hand. Lower the hand. Quiet. Quiet. Drive. Bend. Good boy, guide the show, there it is. Okay, tongue is there, quiet the hand. He's, and the thing is, you don't want the tongue to run away from your hand. And you have an extremely loose nose band, which I'm not gonna touch right now. See if we can't fix it through a quiet hand. Rather than have to, and you have plenty of room to snug that if we need to. Straighten over the outside and drive him up, inside leg at the girth. Guide the shoulder in, press with your outside leg. And hand quiet, press again. Hand quiet and relax, squeeze, relax, don't hold. Squeeze, relax, press, leg again. Good boy, squeeze, relax, don't hold, okay? I want your hand to stay in its position, but you have to be flexible through your ring finger. If he feels you hold and not give, then that's when he panics. Good with the hand position. Guide his shoulder in again. Now we're gonna drive him to a shorter stride. Everything stays the same. Squeeze, relax the ring finger. Bend off your inside leg. Outside leg drives. A little straighter over the outside. Small relax inside. Not over flexed. Outside leg. 
Ask him to track up, steady the head, steady the frame. Outside leg, ask him to track up. There it is, there it is, right there. Quiet the hand. Quiet the hand. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, and you're going to prepare. Oh, now you've got to just sit up, relax, and drive. You felt his back get tight? Okay, don't panic. Don't squeeze your legs. Just relax the thigh and ask him to go forward again. And the hand stays, but it's squeeze relaxing. The fingers are negotiating. You're never locked in. And your goal is to get him forward again in the back, back up. Yes, with quiet aids. Quiet, steady aids. Good boy, good boy. All right, scratch his wither. Keep your outside hand. Good boy, now drive him up again, outside leg. Press him into your hand again. Good boy, that's it. Right elbow, right fist. All right, good man. Hands down. Straighten him just by closing your fist on the outside. Keep your bending calf or thigh here, the whole left leg. You could just bump him once left into your right hand. Good. And outside leg drives. And you're going to prepare for canter. Don't change anything. You just direct his outside shoulder. Yes. Now sit. This is the part where you're going to have to be quiet. You, you sit up and what he hits is a wall that your back and stomach create. Doesn't matter. Don't chase. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just trot, trot, trot. You fix it in forward. And I don't mean racing. You fix it by not pulling him up. By when he, once he has already broken to trot, lower the hand and organize that trot contact. We start all over, basically. Okay, Mercedes? Start all over. It is what it is. Now, what I would say is your reins will probably tick too long. So shorten them without disturbing the contact. Now, right leg, lower the right, straighten them on the right, not over flexed. Now press him into the hand. Quiet, quiet the hand, don't move. And then ask for canner straight over the outside, not the inside hand. Okay, doesn't matter, we're gonna back to trot. Outside rein, back to trot. Have you had his stifles done? No. Okay, that is something I would look at. Right rein, don't block his left hind with your left hand. That's where his stifle couldn't keep up with that. You stop that leg in mid motion. So right elbow, ask him to canter, relax your left finger. There it is. Now keep your right, relax your left. Right, right. Now envision your reins attached, your Berdoon rein attached to the brow band. Half halt, and I want you to sit up, look at me. Not that, your outside shoulder toward his inside. There you go, that's it. Relax your left finger. Don't hold him. Don't pull on the left. I don't care what you feel. You catch it when the brow band is at the highest point, then you relax. Half alt, relax. And basically it's when you sink in the saddle, his pole is at the highest point, okay? That's what, that doesn't matter. Don't wrestle that. Stay quiet, lower the hand, keep doing what you're doing. Ask for bend, neck rein that outside shoulder in, that's how we get that under neck to, yes, just squeeze, yes, now relax both fingers. But keep the outside leg asking for him to track up. Relaxing both. Now guide the shoulder in again. Inside hand, just squeeze, relax. Hands down, hands down. Maintain your position. Good boy. Good boy. Guide the shoulder in. That's okay. It's just the tongue. Guide the shoulder in, relax your ring fingers, neck rein, guide his shoulder in, good boy. Bend him off your inside leg, take weight left, doesn't matter. Okay, and walk and halt. I am gonna zip this up a little bit. Good boy. 